Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial room sysadmin102 uh, First I want to say happy holiday to everybody uh, Thank you for my subscriber And if you are new to the channel and you think the video is helpful Don't forget to subscribe, like and share And in today's video I will show you how to install And set up a wired core uh, On your option And the link for the tutorial is going to be included in, in the description so you can open up the link and follow along and let's get started so first we need to install the wire gourd plugin on uh, options so in order to do that you would navigate to uh, system and uh, firmware and under plugins and you will search for wire and we will select the first one os dash wire gourd All right, now we have wire go installed on our system. So let's go back to the dashboard so it can refresh the GUI and have the um, wire go option under VPN. And now we're gonna go to uh, VPN and we're gonna select the wire go options and settings. All right, so uh, step two, we're gonna configure the wire go instance. So in order to do that, you would uh, select uh, instances and then uh, we're going to add a new one. All right, for the name, I'm going to call it sysadmin102 wire core. All right. And we're going to select this gear icon to generate a new uh, key pair. And then for the list and port, we're going to use the default one at 51A20 and the tunnel address. So for the tunnel address, you can use a class A or class B address. Uh, if you refer to my uh, tutorial, it will tell you um, class A, it uh, range between uh, 10.0.0.0 to 10.255.255.255. And uh, class C is a uh, 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.0.0. Make sure that you select a unique uh, subnet for yours. Uh, it, uh, try to avoid the common subnet such as uh, 10.0.0.1 and uh, 192.168.1.1. These are common subnet in uh, default for a lot of browser. And if you're using the same um, subnet with your router subnet, uh, they not gonna able to route the traffic because they don't know which one is the subnet that is supposed to route the traffic to. So try to avoid those. So let's say your home network is 10.0.0.1 and you go to um, Starbucks that have the same subnet, it's not gonna able to access your VPN because they're on the same subnet. All right, so uh, in the example, I'm going to use 10.3.2.0 and subnet uh, 24. All right, and we're going to save it. All right, and the next step, we can create a tunnel on our uh, client. This can be your MacBook or your Windows PC or your iPad or iOS or Android device is pretty much the same. Uh, the step is kind of the same. It's just the GUI might be a little bit different. You can refer to my uh, written tutorial on uh, under step number four. It will show you how to uh, set up the tunnel. So let's get started. So on uh, Windows 11, you're going to open up uh, Wire Gore applications and then you're going to select uh, add an empty uh, tunnel. All right, and this one we're gonna call it sysadmin102 underscore window 10. All right, and second line is gonna be the address. So this is gonna be the address um, within the subnet in the wire core that you create. So if we go back to um, the setting, for the wire core, we create a tunnel for 10.3.2.0. So any 
IP address. Basically, you assign a static IP address to this client and it has to be within the subnet. All right, let's go back to window 11. So I'm gonna assign 10.3.2.1 and splash 32. So I only assign one IP address to this client. All right, and the DNS is gonna be my uh, router default address. It should work the same way if you do not have a DNS um, on your home uh, router. Uh, typical home router, if you put a DNS in your router, it will forward that DNS uh, query to edit either your ISP or whatever DNS that you're using. All right, and we're gonna add in another one, peers. All right, and it's gonna be the public key. So you can get this public key from the uh, option under the uh, setting when you select an edit instance. You can get this uh, public key from here. So you're going to copy that key. And we're going to put it in here. So this public key is the public key for the WireGuard instance. There we go and allow IP it's gonna be I'm gonna use the wild card for this one would mean that it's gonna get the cache or configuration that gonna route everything over the VPN and endpoint so endpoint this is gonna be your DDNS whatever uh, the DDNS that it's gonna point to the wire gore instant that you're setting up so for me, it's going to be ddns.sysadmin102.org and then it's going to be um, the default port for it, 51A20. If you're using a different uh, port, make sure that you um, the end port is the same as the one in uh, your option instance. So whatever the port that it listen to, make sure it's the same on the client. And we're gonna go to uh, peers. Now we're gonna add a new one. And I'm gonna name it the same like the one I set it up in the tunnel for the client. So it's gonna be sit admin wall two window ten. And the public key, we're gonna have to go back to our client to copy that uh, public key. So this is the public key for the window. Actually, this is window 11. <laughs> All right. Okay. And we're going to go back to um, the peers. Correction, window 11. Okay. And that's the public key in there. And then the allow IP address is going to be the same as the one that you set up in the tunnel, 10.3.2.1. And that's going to be 32. Endpoint address is going to be uh, ddns.sysadmin102.org. And it's going to be uh, 51A20. And that's it. We're going to save it. All right. Next step, we're going to enable WireGore instance that we just created. Uh, if you follow along on my uh, Rinton tutorial, we are on uh, step number five. We're going to go to uh, General and we're going to select Enable WireGore and select Apply. And that's it. We'll be done. Now, nah, just kidding. Uh, that's still step number six, seven, and eight. Uh, in step six, we're going to set up the we're gonna assign the interface to wire gore. I'm not a fan of using a uh, net rules. So if you um, want to set up net rules, uh, this is not a tutorial for you. Uh, step number seven, we're gonna create a firewall rules. And uh, step number eight, we can create a normalization rules. All right, uh, so let's get started with step number six. We're gonna assign an interface to wire gore. We're gonna head over to uh, interfaces. And then we're gonna select assignment. 
and under add new interface we're gonna select uh, WG1 uh, so if you have multiple setting up it's gonna be uh, you know maybe WG number two whatever the order is maybe but select the one that you want to set it up all right and I'm gonna keep as a default name and that's all we do with the select add all right, and now we have a uh, interface uh, sysadmin102 wire door. You're gonna select that one, and you're gonna select uh, enable interface. You can select uh, revenge interface removal, and then we're gonna save it. And don't forget to uh, apply changes. All right, next step, step seven, we're gonna create the firewall rules. So this is necessary for uh, to allow the traffic from your clients to connect it to the wire gore server. So in order to do that, you will navigate to our firewall and then we're gonna select uh, rules and it's gonna be um, Wayne, W-A-N. And we're gonna add a new rule. All right, so the first one, actions, uh, you're gonna keep a default at pass, interface, WAN, and for the TCP ICP versions, it's gonna be both IPv4 and IPv6, and protocol is gonna be uh, UDP. And uh, under the destinations, it's gonna be uh, WAN, address and then the destination uh, port range you're going to select uh, order and from here you can specify the port number for your uh, wire gore server so we use the default one so it's going to be 51820 and repeat the same one 51820 so any traffic uh, that call for uh, 51820 uh, opsin going to listen to that and pass the traffic to the uh, wire gore server and under the description you can name it whatever you like but I'm gonna call it allow client to uh, connect to the wire gore server all right and we're gonna save it and make sure you apply the changes as well and we're going to add the second rule. Let's select add. Same thing, we're going to keep at default pass. And for the interface, this time it's going to be a sysadmin102 wire core or whatever you name it earlier. And then again, TCP IP is going to be IPv4 and IPv6. And the source is going to be. Um, the sysadmin102 wire coordinate and destinations is going to be any and on the description we're going to name it allow access to any subnet all right and we're going to save it and we're going to apply changes All right, guys, so this is the last step. So before you get started with the last step, make sure that you uh, check out my printing uh, tutorial. Could depend on uh, your uh, settings, what kind of traffic you're passing through your uh, wire guard tunnel. The pyramid, uh, parameter uh, for the setting is gonna be a little bit different for the normalizations. So there are two options. The first one is passing the IPv4 TCP only, and the other one is uh, for both IPv4 and IPv6, you only you one the other. You don't you don't uh, put it in uh, both for the normalizations. So why do you need a no normalizations? It's because um, you need to ensure that the IPv4 and IPv6 TCP it can pass through the wire gore tunnel without being uh, fragmented. Uh, otherwise, you could get the ICP, uh, MP and uh, UDP working, but some encrypted uh, TCP section is going to refuse to work because of the different on uh, sizes, the, the header size for the IPv4 and IPv6 
All right, let's get started. So from the firewall, you will select uh, setting. And then under setting, you go, go to uh, normalization. And you're going to add a new one. And again, this is, uh, I'm passing both IPv4 and IPv6 TCP traffic. So I'm using this setting. If you're using the IPv4, refer my, to my written tutorial to get the correct parameter for it. All right, for the interface, we're going to select um, wire gore root. All right. And then for the descriptions, we're going to call it wire gore MSS clamping IPv4 plus IPv6 and uh, max MSS is going to be uh, 1360 for me but if you're using a uh, PPPOE is going to be uh, 1352 again refer to my uh, printer tutorial for the correct parameter and we're going to save it and we're going to apply changes all right and now we're going to test it out with our client to see if it's working all right and we're going to select uh, active all right and as you see the you have the handshake and you have the traffic uh, if you want to see it's something going wrong and try to diagnose the issue, you can go to the log and it's kind of, kind of give you some idea like what's go wrong um, and you can go from there to fix it. Uh, likewise, you can go to uh, Opsin, uh, it's under VPN and wire gore and you can go to uh, diagnose it and uh, log file. Uh, did give you a general idea like what's going on with your system and how can you fix it so if you, I go to diagnose it it uh, will uh, show you know the so this is uh, the client for the window uh, 11 that it actually sending traffic so it's actually working and you can go to log file as well all right so there's no issue that's why we don't have any uh, log file and you can select different filter it will give you uh, different uh, information because we don't have any error so if you select like warning there's nothing in it and that concluded today's uh, tutorial if you think the video is helpful don't forget to subscribe like and share happy holiday to you all and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye